The next we woke up and we went, we were in front of the gate to Auschwitz. And it said, there was a sign, Arbeit macht frei. Uh, work will make you free. Screaming and there was crying and there was such a hoo-ha, you know, it was like you, you, you didn't know where you're going or what's going to happen, the unknown, you know. And, you know, the, the air was like heavy, it was heavy from the smoke. And you could smell, you could smell the, the burning flesh. And of course, I, uh, my father was taken to one side. My mother was taken, my uh, sister was with my mother. And then my, my sister went over to my father and my mother was holding on to me. She says, wherever I'll visit you, wherever you go, wherever I'll go, you go with me. So we stand in that line and everybody was tattooing. And when it came to me, I was crying because it was hurting, you know, it's, you know, they poke you. And she said, don't cry. If you are, if they are to you, you're going to live a little longer yet. And one morning I woke up and my sister was gone. And I don't know how a few days later my mother was gone. And I sat and I ran after them and I, and they threw them on a, on a, you know, on a bunch of a heap of bodies. And I ran after, after and sat there and cried. I was all alone. And a friend of my mother came. She said, if you sit here, they'll shoot you. Come, I'll take care of you. And she took me by force. Well, I, I said, what, what do I need to live for? My mother's gone, my sister is gone, you know. And uh, not, you know, it didn't take much longer and the Allies came, the, uh, the British. Uh, the British, um, the Friedau camp. It was uh, getting better. They sent me to another hospital, to recuperate in another hospital, and this hospital said was there. Slowly, slowly, I guess uh, you fell in love. <laughs>